All right, thanks, Mike. Well, Fashion Weeks used to be exclusive to the likes of New York and Paris, but lately cities all across the U.S. have taken on Fashion Weeks of their own, and Jacksonville is right there along with them. We are on the heels of First Coast Fashion Week, and kicking off the fun with us this morning are the show's producers, Roxana Seminario and Tommy Williams. Thanks so much for joining Good us. Good morning. Thank you for having us. So, we've had a lot of fashion shows in Jacksonville lately, but you guys are offering something really different. I'm told it's actually going to kick off in a parking garage. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we wanted to do a more interesting, unique platform for our fashion show. Uh, this would be unique to Jacksonville. Jacksonville hasn't seen anything like this before. Um, and we're doing this whole thing of an interesting layout and presentation that normally is not seen. Um, we have six runways. One was parallel uh, and perpendicular to each other, and the models are going to be appearing from different areas on the runway, so the audience doesn't really know where they're going to be coming from. The whole point of the fashion show is about the fashion, but we wanted to do it in a production that's very artistic and more intriguing than your typical standard traditional show. Very cool. You guys just saw a photo of the parking garage out there. Now, uh, we have some models here today giving us a preview, so yeah. let's bring out the first designer's models. You guys are actually twins. Come on out. <laughs> so the first designer is uh, representing Yvette, Yvonne. Um, this is Alessandra and her sister, uh, Diana. And uh, Yvette is just a really neat designer, uh, definitely a rocker look right here, I think, it's just very edgy. You can wear this to go out, um, just dress up and have fun if, uh, you know, just looking for something really Beautiful. out of the box. That's I love the nice. sequins and everything. All right, let's very bring out the sparkly. second model. Second model is Anissa, and she's wearing a very beautiful Linda Cunningham wow. dress. Uh, the coral is just absolutely beautiful. You don't need much with this dress. I don't think she needs to wear a necklace. Um, the decorations up at the top just really draw in the attention to the dress, so very nice. Beautiful, very elegant. Model number three. Here we have Nikki, and Nikki's actually uh, modeling the handbag. This is a handbag designer that we have. She goes under Sunisha Designs. and. Uh, Sunisha, uh, Manisha actually is her name, but Sunisha Designs has a really nice line of uh, very decorated fabric. Love that. And bags are for men and women, so we should see some male models on the runway Great, as well. that'd be good for a Jaguars game, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, model number four. This is Here. beautiful. Here we have Pauline, and Pauline is uh, modeling a dress by Chabri. Great. You can wear this dress going out. You can wear it during the day. I think it's very elegant, flows nice, drapes the body well. And Can um, you show us your shoes? We have to show those. Those are fabulous. Yeah, just really nice shoes. Beautiful blue and I love the necklace. Just a beautiful dress. I mean, you can wear this anywhere and, and pair it up with any kind of shoe. The color goes great with everything. Great. So how many designers total do you have? So we have actually um, 10 designers walking on the runway, but we have also some accessories designers like handbags and jewelry. So the audience will get to see a little more just on the runway about 10 designers. Great, and this is really going to support a lot of local talent, designers, models, makeup artists, and it's a great spectator show. So whether you're into fashion or you're not, mom and uh, daughter can come out, right? Oh, girlfriends, mom, dad, husbands, wives, anybody. Great, and this is benefiting a great local charity called Men in Act, which stands for Men in Action. Tell us a little bit about why you chose them. Oh my gosh, I love this organization. Uh, they've been around for about 100 years. Um, I think it takes a lot to be a Mennonite member. They help pretty much uh, where help is needed. Um, they do a lot for the community. They're local here. And um, just kind of goes hand in hand with our show. You know, we put a lot of work into it, and, and uh, the members of Mennonite do a lot of hard work for the community. So I think it just was a great fit. All right, so all in all, you guys just want everybody to come out to First Coast Fashion Week. Yes, right? yes. Come on out and have some fun with event. us. Great. All right. Well, it all starts this February 2nd. Tickets range from $30 to $65. Head to firstcoastfashionweek.com for more information. You can also like them on Facebook. And stick around with us because coming up at 945, we'll talk about what to wear if you're going. Len, back to you.